Hello everyone, my name is Pritam and you're watching Tech with Pri. Welcome to my channel and I'm back with another tech video. Now this is the fifth video of this tutorial series called Cloud Computing with Microsoft Azure. Now in my last video, I have shown you how you can have your uh, free Azure account guys and you're gonna get the 14,500 or the $200 credit to use the Azure account for a month. So if you missed that video guys, I would recommend you to go and check it out because what I believe is you need an Azure account to practice. I mean, the, you can follow my video, you can watch how I'm doing, but it's always a best practice to, you know, by do it uh, in your own. And the process was very simple. You can just follow it. Now for few people like who does not have any credit card and I got some messages actually and they are uh, telling how they are going to practice, how they are going to work. So in that case, if you are one of them who wants to learn Azure, uh, wants to appear for the examination, but you do not have any credit card and that's the reason you are unable to sign up for Azure. In that case, you can let me know in the comment section, guys, and uh, I will just try to arrange something. Uh, definitely, I'm not going to provide my credit card uh, because I mean, if I provide also like it's already been used for my account. So what I'm going to do is that I'm, so I'm going to add you in my account so that you can use that credit and uh, you know, you can practice by creating virtual machine and other things. So now it depends again, like how many requests I'm getting based on that. But yeah, definitely I will do something. So please uh, comment in this video that if you need uh, the Azure account and if you do not have any credit card, but if you have credit card, then I would request you to follow the video because that's uh, you are going to learn also how to do that. And also you are going to get the 14,500 or $200 credit that you can use actually by your, I mean, for your own account. All right. And the link of the previous video would be provided in the description as you know, and also you can find the link right now here in your screen. As for the last video, now we are all having our free Azure account. We are ready to start exploring Azure. And today we are going to see, or we are going to take a tour of the a very important Azure portal. And this is the place where you are going to interact every day when you will work with Azure and you are going to, uh, you know, create resources, anything, like any services you are going to use, any resources you are going to use, you have to use that portal. We already uh, discussed Azure is a web-based portal to access Azure. You need to use the portal, right? So we are not going to waste any time and we are directly going to go to the portal and we'll see what are the different options and what are the some customization you can do as per your uh, need. Okay, so let's go and see that. Okay, I'm um, in my browser now. You all know the uh, Azure portal address. So it is nothing but portal.azure.com. Uh, this is very important to remember portal.azure.com. This is the address for the Azure portal. And uh, if you are already logged in, it will directly take you to the uh, portal. And if you are not, then you have to provide your email address by which you logged in to Azure. Okay. Now, this is a portal. You can see this is a view of the portal. Uh, this is a default view, you could say. And uh, we will discuss about these things. Okay. First, I will go to the right hand top corner where it is showing my, you know, my profile. So if I just click on that, you can see my name, my email address, which is there again, by which I have signed in. And also there's an option for sign out. And this is a default directory and we can switch directory. I'll let you know how to do that once we will, uh, you know, discuss in detail about the active directory, Azure active directory. Okay. So no need to worry on that. Then we have uh, this feedback button here. So you can provide feedback to Microsoft, anything you feel you like to send. So you can just write it down uh, you can see this smiley also and you can submit the feedback. Now we have the help icon here, uh, which is very important because uh, here you will find uh, so many documentation, actually so many things that uh, you may need to know uh, like uh, the Azure community. So there is a community Azure. So they, they help people. If you stuck in some way, uh, you can ask them. Then we have the uh, documentation like it's there are more than 2000 documents uh, available for Azure. You can see Azure documentation. This website is and this is from Microsoft. So there are categories are there and you can just click on any and if you want to learn 
uh, you can just go and learn it okay so uh, i'll just close it uh, let's go back uh, some links are available so you can go and check and increase your knowledge on azure all right now we have the settings icon and this is where you'd be able to customize few things at the first it is showing the directories and subscriptions so this is the default one once you sign in with azure or you'll sign up uh, with azure with first time so uh, default directory has been created for you by your email address and you you'd be the only one member under that directory so again directory means i'm talking about azure active directory which we will do later in a different video but for to understand it i'm going to show you the azure active directory so this is a search panel where we can search anything actually in the azure so i will search for azure active directory this is, you can see it's a default directory and under if i go to the user section under manage you'd be able to see uh, it's my name pritam jit kanguli and my email address so this is the default entry that has been done when the default directory has been created so this is just to show you that uh, what is the meaning of default directory and uh, now you can understand that is the azure active directory so we'll just go back to the settings uh, next we have the appearance and startup views so this is where you can customize uh, something so actually by default the uh, if i talk about the menu behavior uh, by default it was fly out actually i changed it to dog so let me show you how it was so this is nothing but the which is appearing on the left hand side it would be uh, vanished if you use the fly out once and if you want that you just need to click here and you can get the menu details but when you click outside it will go it will not remain now if you want that then you need to choose the docked so it would be always there you can see okay next we have theme here and uh, under theme by default it was azure actually i changed to blue so normally it was uh, like that so i personally like the blue one and uh, also we have if i just hide the levels here so we have the dark theme so if you if you like using dark theme you can use it it's it looks quite good actually all right so you can use that and also we have some high contrast theme you can see now uh, black, white black and these are actually depends how you uh, how you prefer right so for me uh, none is fine i don't need any high contrast theme and lastly we have the start startup view here in the appearance page uh, which is like uh, the home by default it is the home also we can choose the dashboard view right and uh, let's go and see about it so this is the normal home view you can see uh, this is the uh, by default azure is providing but you can change to the dashboard view uh, if i just quickly go back to the settings again and if i choose the dashboard view and click on apply then every time when we load azure or you will go for portal.azure.com uh, it will open the dashboard view so it should be look like you can see now the view has been changed to dashboard and just to show you like how dashboard works or uh, dashboard view actually so i have created uh, a virtual machine actually and these are the other components that has been created with the virtual machine so uh, don't worry uh, we'll have a separate video on how to create virtual machine and you will understand every single step of it okay so this is just to show you how the dashboard work so i've created that so this is a kind of view it will open uh, actually you can create your own dashboard by here clicking on new dashboard this is the place uh, let me give some name like testing maybe and this is the place where, where you can drag many things which you want uh, to see every time when you open the azure and basically this is a place or dashboard is a place where you can you know add many things uh, at the same page like for example i want all the resource details uh, what are the resources that has that are being used so i don't want to go to virtual machine every time to check what are the things is there so i can directly access it from my home page so i just need to drag it here like this and the resources that have created like i was telling like virtual machines and other things storage account disk so all these things has appeared here right so you can directly access it by clicking here also you can add like for example you can add a clock here if you want time date time uh, also you can use the users group section that we have already discussed actually uh, where my already name is there 
so this is the default directory now now my plan is actually to have a dashboard view or to set a dashboard view you need to create some resource so when we will create few resources like storage account like virtual machine and virtual network other things then we would probably uh, able to use the dashboard view actually we can see a lot of chart like you can see matrix chart is available so this is our general dashboard view guys and uh, if you want to save it just click on save you can see now if i just refresh the page every time now it will open the testing dashboard where i'd be able to see all the details that have put now uh, dashboard is quite done now we will just go back to the settings and uh, we will again choose the home view because uh, later we'll choose the dashboard one once we have the many resources with us okay next we have the language and region and this is pretty simple the language and region format you need to choose here uh, there under my information you have your email address by which again you sign up for azure and signing out notification like uh, this is the pop-up notification that comes once any notification appears and this is enabled by default so you can stop it if you don't want that and now this is the notification tab which i'm talking about you can see i have got one notification that this amount of uh, credit is remaining so if you remember it was started with 14500 now i'm using a virtual machine actually i created last night uh, for uh, to show you the dashboard version actually so it is still on and uh, now it has cost me i think around i don't know around 200 rupees like that so don't worry we'll have a separate video on the azure subscription and the cost analysis how you can manage your balance and we'll discuss further on that so this is the notification tab or panel uh, where all the notification will appear like for an example when you'll create a virtual machine or maybe you'll create an app service and once the service is i mean virtual machine has created or app service is ready you'll get a notification here so all the kind of notification you're going to get under this notification tab and next we have the directory uh, directories and the subscription one already we have checked it uh, it's under the settings menu actually all right next we have the uh, cloud shell azure cloud shell which is very 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 important guys uh, this is a place where we can use the powershell script and the uh, bash also cli if you prefer uh, to interact with the azure okay if you are watching and you do not love programming or scripting and uh, you don't want to do that so just relax it's very 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 simple it's very easy actually the command that we are going to use here it's totally uh, i mean like it's rememberable you would be able to remember that okay so we'll go through it uh, on the cli command and powershell command and we'll understand why we need scripting and uh, programming so uh, in the next video in my next video that will be uh, for the azure cloud shell i'm going to create and it's very important actually to know both the ways like for, from the portal and from the powershell and or like bash because what i believe is that uh, when we'll understand the automation thing in future you'd be able to understand it how powershell is important or how uh, i mean cli is important so we won't call it powershell or bash uh, we can call it to azure cloud shell so this is something it is there in the portal itself you can see you don't need to open powershell uh, from your system it is directly accessible from the azure platform itself so you can see it is connecting to the terminal and it is uh, connecting to the azure cloud shell again so from there we can create a virtual machine from the portal and at the same time we can create it from the powershell with less time actually so we're going to see that in the next video guys uh, this is the azure cloud shell and you can see i can also move to the bash one the cli one and we'll see it in detail in the next video so this is the cloud shell and then we have the search bar i already talked about it so you can search any of the azure resources services anything you can find it from here this is a kind of a google for azure uh, next we have the upgrade button here so this is uh, we are not going to discuss it right now because that's where uh, the subscription comes so once we deal with the subscription uh, video uh, i'll cover this upgrade per, uh, version so this is nothing but you are upgrading from free version to the pay as you go version right and until that i mean you you are not going to charge any single money you are you are using your free account credit right then we have the azure uh, logo home button logo and then in the left hand side the menu that i was talking about uh, this is very helpful actually guys like uh, at the beginning we have a create resource and you can directly create a resource like virtual machine uh, app service Kubernetes native service storage account anything 
next we have the home dashboard all services what are the services azure is providing like this okay so this is the favorite section guys and you can add uh, or remove anything that you want to you know uh, maybe enable or disable like for an example if you want to enable this virtual network section uh, it's already there actually so let's add something which is not present maybe kubernetes service so i want that kubernetes service should be appear in my favorite section so that i can access it quickly so i just need to click on this star and you can see now kubernetes service has added here uh, actually it is in the bottom yeah here we go and at the same time if i want to remove anything from here uh, from the favorites all i need to do is just click in this star button again and it will be vanished so this is the section and this is very helpful while you use it and if i just go back to the portal uh, this is a kind of thing and uh, the recent resources it will show you like i have created a virtual machine so it is showing the uh, things recent i have recently i have used you can navigate to subscription also resource group all resources you can check it from access it from here we will discuss about the resource group this is one of the important so uh, probably next week uh, while we create the virtual machine we'll discuss about resource group as pretty easy actually next we have some tool azure monitor which is very important we'll discuss uh, again the cost management and that will be discussed in the subscription video security center so these are the tools it's available uh, there are some useful link also azure migration tool services again uh, there would be as i mentioned like there are more than 2000 documentation which is available for azure and finally we have the azure mobile application guys and this is pretty good actually uh, you can control few of the things you can watch the dashboard from the mobile and i'll show you how to do that later okay so this is the all over idea of the azure portal guys no i believe now it's quite clear to you uh, the portal that every day you are going to interact when you'll work with azure and you got some idea how it's working and how it all the options are there so uh, this is it for today guys i hope you liked and you enjoyed the video uh, if you find it helpful please hit the like button if you have any doubt or queries please ask me in the comment section and also uh, please subscribe the channel and share with your friends and families so that it can reach out to many people thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye take care